Hey guys, today we will have a look at the new VCMC module from Befaco and how it can work with VCVREC. And thank you, Befaco, for sending me this. We will start with a short overview and then go through some patches, and there will be also timestamp links in the description so you can jump to the sections you find interesting. So, the VCMC is a voltage controlled MIDI controller, so you can use the faders and the buttons to control VCV rack, but also modulate them and send this information into VCV rack, so eventually you can control modules inside VCV rack with your hardware modules like pitch sequencers, trigger sequencers, modulation sources and more and just another disclaimer the VCMC will work with anything that can be controlled with MIDI software or hardware so let's really start using the VCMC as a standard MIDI controller okay so I have the VCMC connected with a USB cable to my computer and as you can see you can also use the 5 DIN MIDI connection so this will also work with other hardware scenes for example and we have eight faders we can use and also eight buttons and in VCV rack um, I have a few voices so the first ones are two energy oscillators from the geodesics collection receiving two different sequences from ions also geodesics and I have stages modulating their amplitude and also their FM amount it sounds like this very nice and the first thing uh, we can do is control uh, the mixer for example so let's use the MIDI to CC module which will look like this we will choose the VC M, C. and let's leave it for now um, with all MIDI channels selected and now let's say that I want the first fader to control the volume of the first voice so here we have a menu screen on the VCMC and we can change the functions um, of each and every fader and button and I have the first fader um, set to send CC messages so in VCV we can assign this fader in the MIDI um, CC module all we have to do is click the window we want to use and then move the fader just a bit and now you can see it's already being assigned to this fader and now we can send this to control the level or the volume of the first voice in the mixer and now I can use the fader to bring this voice in and out let's do the same um, for the second voice with the second filter again with the second uh, fader sorry again I will click the window I want to use move the fader I want to select or to use and then send this to control the volume of the second voice and now I have control on the level of both voices Just like this but let's say that I want also to trigger the mute function of the mixer so let's use this time the MIDI gate module again let's choose the VCMC and I have the first two buttons set to send gates as notes so let's assign them on the MIDI gate module again uh, we have to choose the um, window we want to use and then I will just click let's say the first button and now it's assigned in the MIDI gate module let's do the same for the second one very nice and as you can see um, the gates go high and stay high even after I let go you can see and this is called latch mode and it fits perfectly to this function of muting and unmuting voices so let's send this to trigger the mute function of the voices and now I can mute them and you can see again this is latch mode so the gate will stay high even after I let go very nice now we have here another voice a bass this one here oh yeah and first of all I want to control um, the cutoff frequency of the filter 
So let's use again the MIDI CC module. I will just put it here. Let's assign the third fader. So again, click the window I want to use, move the fader, and now it's assigned. So let's send this to the filter. And now I have control on the cutoff frequency of the filter. Oh yeah, with the third fader here. Very nice. Now I want also to trigger a change in notes for this bass. So what I have here is sample and hold coming out of kinks. And I can trigger the sample and hold with the um, third button here on the VCMC. And this will give me a different note with almost each click of the button. So let's use again the MIDI gate module. I will assign the third button. And this time I don't have it in latch mode. So you see I let go and the gate goes down, it closes. And now we can trigger the sample and hold. Let's have a listen. Oh yeah. Very nice. Okay, another thing we can do, we can use the faders of the VCMC to create notes. And there is a nice feature on the VCMC um, that you can change the range of the outcoming signal. So I have the range of the fourth fader here set to about two volts, which are two octaves. So let's assign this fader in the MIDI CC module. Again, select the window I want, move the fader, just like this. 26 very nice we can also see this on the scope so let's move this here and now you can see we have about let's say 2.3 volts and I can play this with the fader and what we will do we will send this uh, signal to the quantizer that I have here and this is going to the FM operators which is also going through Chronoblock 2 for some delay so I can sort of play this voice. Let's send this to the quantizer. Very nice. Okay, so now let's have a look at how to add some modulation to all of this and send CV into VCV Rec through the VCMC. Okay, so here I have the Neutron being sequenced by the Turing machine in VCV Rec. And it's also going through the Mimeophone from Make Noise. It sounds like this. Very nice. Now I already have the first fader on the VCMC controlling the lock knob of the Turing machine in VCV Rec. And this time I use the MIDI map module. So I map this fader directly to the lock knob. You can see it's moving also. You can lock it to the other side. Yeah. 
Very nice. Now I have the LFO on the neutron controlling the cutoff point of the uh, filter. Just like this. And in VCV rack I have another voice um, with the even VCO also from Befaco. Also it's being sequenced um, by the Turing machine and also being triggered by it. And this sounds like this. Very nice. Now I want the, uh, that the LFO from the neutron will control both the neutron and the voice in VCV rex or and the even VCO. So what we can do, we can send the LFO to the uh, VCMC, to the second input in this case, the second CV input. So I'm taking it out of the mult from the neutron and to the second CV input on the VCMC. And in this case, it's set again um, to output MIDI CC messages. So I have here again the MIDI CC module already set to the VCMC. And I also have it set um, to output from CC number zero. Now another thing I've done is set um, the second fader, the corresponding fader to be an attenuator for this modulation. So we get also control on the amount of modulation just like on the neutron. So again, this will attenuate this LFO that's coming in the CV input. We can also have a look at it on the scope. So now I will raise the modulation amount and you can see the LFO starts moving here and I can open it all the way so we have the full range and again I can change the shape of the LFO on the neutron itself. I can change the rate also. And this is the same LFO that's modulating the neutron is now coming into VCV rack through the VCMC. So let's send this to the cutoff point of the filter for the even VCO. So now both the even VCO or the filter of the even VCO and the filter of the neutron are being controlled or modulated by the same LFO and both have their individual attenuator for the modulation amount. And again I can lock the sequence. from the VCMC. Okay, now another thing we can do, we can use the trigger output from the um, mimeophone to trigger a voice in VCV. So let's send this to the third gate output of the third, the gate output of the third channel. Very nice. And again, I have it set to output gates per notes. So here I have again the MIDI gate module in VCV and the first window is already assigned to this gate and here I have a voice, I have the FM operator being sequenced by the or receiving pitch information by the ADDR sequencer so let's really drive the sequencer with the triggers from the mimeophone which are again coming out of the VCMC module and let's trigger also the oscillator with them let's solo this so we can have a listen So again, the mimeophone is outputting triggers and I can change this by changing the time. And those triggers are uh, driving the sequencer in VCV and also um, triggering the voice. So everything together sounds like this. Oh yeah. 
Very nice. Now another uh, thing I like doing is using the CV output, the envelope follower output of the Morphogen to create another sequence. So I have here a sort of a piano loop on the Morphogen. Let's just solo this so we can have a listen. It's also playing in reverse. It's also mangled a bit with the sample and hold. Very nice. So let's send the CV output, the envelope follower output, to CV input number 4 or the CV input of channel number 4 on the VCMC. Very nice. Now again I change the range of this um, CV input or the CV output I should say. Um, to have a range that is fitting for pitch information and it's already assigned to CC number one and I have here the MIDI CC module in VCV rec with CC number one. We can also have a look at it on the scope. So again the more volume we have the louder the sample is or the loop is on the morphogen there will come out more voltage on the envelope follower and this is going into VCV rec through the VCMC we can see this on the scope. So let's send this to the quantizer and from there to another oscillator. I have here the wave oscillator from Blemsoft. Now this oscillator is a, a wavetable oscillator. So let's use the same um, CV to scan also through the wavetable and we can see here the movement. And it's corresponding also to the loop, because again, this is an envelope follower output. And this is going through clouds. So let's have a listen to this. Oh yeah. Listen to everything together. And again, we have a few um, free faders and buttons we can use as MIDI controllers to control VCV rec with them. But um, let's have a look at another patch. Okay, so here I have the O cost for Make Noise, and it's been sequenced by Marbles in VCV rec, and it's also going through Corona Blob 2 for some delay. It sounds like this. Very nice. Now I also have um, the slope set on cycle. You can see it here. So it's looping and mod uh, modulating the multiply function. And I want to use its uh, end of cycle output to gate a voice in VCV. So again, we can use the VCMC to um, create this bridge. So we send the end of cycle output to the gate input of the first channel of the VCMC. End of cycle to the first gate input already you can see that it's working it's receiving the signal and in vcv i have again the midi gate module and this time i will learn this note so i will click the window i want to use let's choose for example this one here and as soon as the gate coming in is high the window will be assigned to the correct note and we will see also later a small issue with this uh, whole learning process but let's for now have a look at it on the scope it will come out of here so those are the gates coming out of the end of cycle output from the no coast very nice now let's use this gate um, to gate our voice in and out and what I have here, I have three energy oscillators, again geodesics. They receive pitch information also from marbles, but it's going first through a shift register, so we get sort of chords. 
Um, this is all going through uh, reverb and also clouds. And what I have here, I have also for each voice, I have a slew limiter. So this will uh, make sure that the gates will f uh, fade the voices in and out. Um, so what I will do, I will send the gates that are coming out of the end of cycle output to the slew limiters and already we have our voice and I will use it also um, to trigger the shift register so with each gate we get a new chord or a new note oh yeah I have here um, another voice coming from the disting and um, it's set to dual Euclidean algorithm and it's sending one trigger to the mimeophone it will sound like this I will just unmute it from here just a trigger going to some delay and I can play with its sound a bit make it darker or brighter Very nice. Now I want to send the second trigger from the disting to trigger another voice in VCV. So let's send it to the gate input of the second channel of the VCMC. This will go to the second gate input. And already here also you can see that it's receiving this signal. And now I want to show you this issue um, with the learning process. In VCV, I want to assign this gate to another window on the MIDI gate um, module, but both gates are going through the VCMC at the moment. So if I activate the learning process, let's do this here. There is a chance if I take maybe this slope a bit. You see it's still learning one or the second, depends which one is high at the moment that I'm clicking. So there are two ways you can deal with this. First of all, you can take out everything you don't want to assign, the gates um, or CV, depends what you want to learn. Or you can um, set this um, in the menu of the VCMC, exactly which note you want to use. And like this, you can have control over this. Okay, so now I have it assigned. I have it assigned here, and I will use it to trigger a bass drum. Very nice, and again this is a trigger coming from the VCMC, from this thing through the VCMC and triggering a voice in VCV rack. And again, we can use the other faders and buttons that we have here um, as a MIDI controller to control different things in VCV rack. So for example, I have here the third gate or the gate of the third channel um, controlling or triggering the loop function on the corner blob. So I can freeze the delay just like this. And again it's set to latch mode, so I click it once, it stays high until I click it again. Very nice, and the corresponding fader, the third fader here, is mapped to the global delay time. So if you look at the knob, I can move it with this fader. And then again unfreeze. Very cool. So you can see that the VCMC is a great way to fill this gap between virtual and hardware in many ways, like controlling VCV, extending CV, if it's pitch or gates or modulation, 
and there are eight gates and CV inputs on the VCMC but there are also two auxiliary inputs that you can use on top of this and I really encourage you to go and have a look at the manual because there are many things this module can do even send sequences into VCV so if you have a sequencer you like using in your case um, you can send it to VCV through the VCMC and there will be also links to this uh, uh, to the patches we looked at today if you want to have a closer look at them and thank you again Befako for sending me the VCMC I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please hit the like button if you enjoy what I do consider becoming a patreon if you want to see more videos like this please subscribe and hit the bell and have a good one